guys coming from? Hey, girl. How oh. are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I got through with what I was doing. Then I went to the salon to pick for an hour. Oh, so tell me, how do I look? Am I snatching wigs or not? Baby, you are snatching everything, including my real hair. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You look nice. Thank you. Hey, boo. Hey. How was your day? Mm. <laughs> what just happened? What just happened in broad daylight? Tongues might start wagging. You don't want your mom to know, remember? No, babe. She's right. You know, people might be watching from their windows. So, let them watch. Good afternoon, Mom. Good afternoon. Where are you coming from? Um, Mom, I, I, I went to see Urena. <laughs> Come, sit. Come. Come and sit down. Thank Let's you. have a talk. Young lady, I know you have been saying the brother. <laughs> Chuma, so you don't need to lie to me. <sighs> you guys are friends. There's no two ways about it. But you are saying the brother. <sighs> um, I'm sorry, Mom. I, I had no idea you knew. If I don't know the whereabouts of my children, then I have failed in my duty as a mother. It's all right. I, I, I know you're 22 years old. You're old enough to be in a relationship. But please, be careful. Do you hear me? I, I do not want you to bring an untimely pregnancy. Mom. Oh, I'm still talking. I haven't finished. You think I don't know two of you sleep with each other? Oh, no, that, 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 Come that. On. Don't, don't try to lie to me, okay? Don't try to lie to me. Boys of these days, I mean, if you don't have anything to do with them, they will not go into a relationship with you. I know Chuma very well. I watched him grow up. I, I know he was raised well, and so are you. I would not watch you make me an untimely grandma. My political career is still running. I cannot give it up to, I mean, to, to raise a child. Please. All I'm asking is for you to be careful. Next time, if you, if you must do anything, use protection. Do you hear me? Please be careful. Yes, Mom. Uh, thank you, Mom. I, I had no idea you would be cool with it. Why not? Chuma is he's a graduate and he's doing very well for himself. Why won't I? <laughs> Can I? Yeah, sure. Thank you. That's my baby. Anyway, since we're both jobless graduates, let's just keep eating and getting fat. And of course, party. You know, um, speaking of party, which club are we going tonight? Club Lucas. I hear that's where all the current guys come out to have fun. And I want to get you hitched to a fine boy. Hmm. You know what? I know I want to be in a relationship so bad, but it's definitely not with a guy I meet in the club. <laughs> Babes. We usually find love in hopeless places. I don't think it matters where you find the guy. Just pray he be a good man, that's all. Hold on, is that why you always make us go to club every ladies night? So you will get me hooked. <laughs> <laughs> You're fine, hear him. 
babe, you're lonely. You're lonely and I want you to get hooked up. Love is a beautiful thing and you deserve it. I know. But I'll just wait till I find the right person to sweep me off my feet. You will. Let's just keep going to public places. <sighs> you love Chuma, right? <sighs> I love him with my entire being. I love him with all that I am and everything that is in me. <laughs> and I am so blessed and so thankful that I have both of you all to myself. Mm. Aren't you a lucky girl? <laughs> well, I'm happy for you. My brother is a good man. Yes, he is. In the, in the US, I always clamoring for you to come back because they miss your cooking so much. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you and your father always want to seize us whenever we're coming to Nigeria? Mom, you cannot stop two grown men from drooling over a good woman's cooking. <laughs> 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 well, I understand that you have your political career to pursue, so. I know how you can stay back, so that's fine. Yeah, you can say that again. Um, so Ma. Yeah. How's that um, that white girl I saw you with the last time I came? Um, when were you guys in the US again? June? Oh, that would have been Katrine or Mm-hmm. No, it was Lisa. It was Lisa. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You're talking as if you don't know your brother. I've been there. I've done that. So ma. Mom, why are you looking at me like that? So ma. Yeah. I mean, seriously, don't you get tired? I do sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> you need to change. What? I mean, it's not my fault. Mom, seriously, I'm just a handsome, humble dude with a lot of ladies looking around him. Uh, he just wants some, you know, sometimes. Yeah, it's right. It's not my fault. Yeah, right. Mm. Well, Mr. Handsome. It's about time you come down to Nigeria and set up your business. Who knows? You might find a girl to marry. <laughs> and um, that sure I brought something is getting the better side of you. 
I think I need to call your father. Wait, that. wait, mom. Didn't dad tell you? Tell me what? I'm actually moving back to Nigeria to start our business. You are kidding me. Yeah, I won't be going back if I probably need to rest on holiday or something. Actually, dad will be joining us next year. Wow, I didn't mention to you. No, he did not. Oh my god. Wow. I'm going to be super happy if you and dad move back to Nigeria. Well, I'm going to be happy too, but for now, I just have fun serving my mom's meal. <laughs> Mom, you need to teach me how to cook. I will, son. I will. When? I need to start learning because this is so good. Well, I'll do it tomorrow. I will. Ifoma. Ifoma, hurry. We are going to be late for the event. Hi. Wow. So, Madina, you're back. Yes, I, I am. Irina. Yes. Mm, nice to meet you. Um, my sister said so much about you. Actually, she showed me a couple of your pictures on her phone when she came over to the States. Oh. <laughs> and I must say, you look even prettier in person. Thank you. You look amazing too. Okay, I see you guys have met already. Ifoma, you didn't tell me your brother came back. Girl, he came in yesterday. You were not around. Don't mind her. Call she you. was trying to hide you from me. That is not true. I wanted it to be a surprise. Right. So, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, look at him. Look at how gendered he's looking. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's cool. Okay, Mr. Flirt. Don't you have someone you need to be right now? <laughs> Actually, I was stepping out. I um, I have a meeting with an estate agent. He's helping me look for an office space. Okay. I'm an IT consultant, by the way, and I plan on setting up my own business here. And from there, I'll be heading to the car mat. You know how we roll. You'll get okay. something that suits this young man right here. Something that will have you in it, of course, without you. Oh. Okay, bye. <laughs> we have somewhere to go to. Let's go. I guess I'll see you around, Irina. Yeah, bye. bye. Girl, trust me, you don't want to go there. That guy, my brother, is literally so ma for the ladies. Trust me, you don't want to go there. I'm just warning you. Let me get my bag so we can go. at me. Why are you not sleeping? Is everything all right? Yes, ma'am. I'm fine. Oh. You seem so excited and happy. Do you mind sharing it? Um, gosh, mommy, I'm, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just happy. So Madina is back and I can't sleep. Somadina. Yes, Somadina. Ifoma's brother, our neighbor, he came back yesterday from the States and I met him this morning. And ever since then, I can't stop thinking about him. <laughs> you like him? Yes, mother, since I was little. 
Remember the year we moved in? Hi. Hey. Seems you're a new neighbor. Yes, I'm just moving in. Okay, he's my other brother. Oh. Are they traveling? And is that your dad? Yes, that's my father. And he lives abroad, so he's taking summer dinner with him to study. Summer dinner? That's my brother's thing. I want to stay with my mom, so that's why I'm not going. My mom works here. Where's your mom? Okay, that's my mom. Um, when are they coming back? I don't know. Mm, my mom says that he's going to stay there and be a big boy before coming back. Okay. Bye. Let's go in. I think I do. He was the word mother. And ever since I saw him today, I can't stop thinking about him. And what would have been of us if he had stayed back? My dear, if you like him, why don't you ask him out? This is digital age. <laughs> Everyone is shooting their shots. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, mommy, who taught you that? <laughs> okay, you know what, mom? I could, but I heard he has girls in the state. He's not a keeper. He's the ladies' man. He's handsome and I like him, but this hat right here is not ready to be broken. I would rather wait for my Mr. Perfect to come and sweep me off my feet. My dear, if you want Mr. Perfect to come and sweep you off your feet, the only way you will land is with your skull on the floor. My dear, if you must fall in love, you have to be ready for trials and hearts. Relationships are never bed of roses. All you need is to ask God to give you the right man that will like you, like his own body. Anyway, um... Don't worry, you'll figure it out. Let me get a glass of water. Why are you dwelling in fantasy? Get off from that couch and go to bed. Okay, mom. I will. It's okay, dear. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Tonight, how is tonight clubbing going to be? I think I've worn all my club dresses and I may need to get a new one. I don't like repeating clothes. Um, Boo, I can't go with you to the club tonight. I and Chuma made plans, so we're going for a getaway. And you're telling me now? Girl, he just told me a few minutes ago in his room. So what? You're going to ditch girls out and just because of a guy? Point of correction, boo. Not just any guy. Your brother, who happens to be the love of my life. So yes, I would ditch anyone. Oh, really? <laughs> well, it's okay. I think I'll go by myself. Oh, what can a lonely girl do? Oh, my poor. 
poor baby. Oh, please stop. <laughs> Anyways, while you're at it, make sure you look all shades of gorgeousness. You know what I can do. Show off that pretty skin. Because you never know what would happen to <laughs> for bringing me home. Really? Come on. Stop trying to be modest. I mean, I literally drove myself home as well, so. I know. But, you know, thank you still. Well, thank you for letting me bring you home. so beautiful. Every morning? Not every morning, but you know, every other day. Oh, that's good. I see how you get to keep your shit together. <laughs> so, who's um, who's the lucky guy that's um, enjoying all this? No one. Really? Uh, wait, you, you don't have a boyfriend? No, I don't. Okay, do you mind if I ask why? I haven't found the right one yet. Wait, in the whole of Nigeria you haven't found that one person that sweeps you off your feet? No one. Okay. So, what if I... What if I become the right one? Would you like me to be your boyfriend? I... I, um... 
You know what? I'll take you to the VS. <laughs> I have to be at work at nine. I'll call you when I return, okay? I'm glad you came. I actually left everything I was doing in the office just to to come spend this moment with you. I know that what happened this morning was a, a bit awkward, but I meant every word of it. I like the way you smell. It's beautiful. And you are beautiful. Come sit with me. Come on, I don't buy it. I'm sorry. No, 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 you don't have to apologize. I'm glad to hear that. I... I really like you. So, does this mean we are now dating? I'm your girlfriend and you are my boyfriend. That's exactly what it is. Yes. Which Nollywood movie is going on here? I like him, Ifoma. You can't like him. So Madina is not the one. He will do you dirty and dump you. What if he's different with me? Have you thought of that? God, Urena, so Madina cannot be different. He doesn't do relationship. What my brother does is, he uses a girl, he dumps her, and then he moves on to the next. And I will not let him hurt you. Uri, you are my best friend. And my boyfriend's sister. I'll be damned if I sit back and let Sumadina hurt you. I won't allow that happen. How dare you, Sumadina? How dare you? Do you think my friend is one of those cheap girls you lure to your bed? Hey, 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 you need to calm down, okay? Nobody's playing nobody here. I really like Ray. And I want something really serious with her. <laughs> oh, wait. You've already started calling her Uri. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Listen, whatever joke this is, he has to stop right now. I'm a grown woman, Ify, and you don't decide who I go out with. A vulnerable grown woman who is desperate for someone to love her and has never had sex her entire life. So no, Uri, you do not know what she wants. And girls like you are easily manipulated by men like my brother. That's an insult, and I won't take it. 
Look, I'm just trying to protect my friend. Okay? And where the hell did this even start that nobody told me about it? that car. I'm going to get you that car. Oh. <laughs> I want a sports car. <laughs> Chuma. Chuma, you really need to talk to your girlfriend. I don't have a mess this up for me. Something I've always wanted all my life. I don't understand. What is it? Okay, you know what? Just sit. Come on. Sit down, my angel. What is it? Mom. Remember how I told you I liked her brother? Yes. God on my side, he finally asked me out. We are just about to start a relationship and then Ifoma comes in and started ranting about how he would use me and dump me and how he wants us to end it. End it, mom. Something that hasn't even lasted a day. What if she's right? At least she knows her brother more than you do. I know you would take her side because she's your girlfriend. That is very wrong of her. To dabble into her matters just like that. Eh? She is old enough to know what she wants. Listen, Urena, I think you're just overreacting, okay? I mean, she's just trying to protect you. And moreover, the guy in question I heard is a player. What do you mean by a player? You mean a guy wilding with different girls until he finally finds the one that holds him down. Same way you had series of girls until you met Ifoma and found out she was the one. What if I'm the one to hold him down? The same way Ifoma did with you. Listen. I really like him, Mom. Remember when I was 12? The day we moved in, you and Mom were packing things inside. And I was just there, staring at him. I didn't know what it was. I was little. But I couldn't stop staring at that boy across our fence. And as we grew up, I always asked if I'm after him each time they traveled to the States. Somehow a part of me missed that boy. That boy I saw growing up. Samadina is really special to me, Mom. And I want to give it a try. It don't matter if it breaks my heart, right? It's part of finding love like you said, Mother. This is serious. My dear, I am in for any decision you make. All I want is your happiness. Listen to right now. I can't stop you from going for what you want. Okay, because obviously it has been your long time fantasy. He had better not break your heart. <laughs> <laughs> Don't matter if he breaks my heart. I mean, he's so fine. <laughs> <laughs> it matters, seriously, it does matter. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Sure. What's up? Uh, I know what you think of me. And it's fine. I understand. It's as a result of my previous shenanigans with ladies. Okay. Yeah, I get it. But there comes a time in a man's life where he he meets that that one lady and he's ready to try out things differently with her. Ever wondered why I, why I always ask to see Urina's picture whenever you're in the States? I just wanted to see what she was going into. You know, I remember the first day I set my eyes on her. That was the day I was leaving for the States. They were just moving in. And 
and she just kept staring into my eyes. And I stared right back. We held that gaze until we beat ourselves goodbye. Still fresh. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold up. You remember? Mm hmm That was so many years ago. And you know, should always bring that up in our conversations while we were growing up. Really? Yes. How could you never mention it? She'd always say, um, I know we were kids, but I don't know why I was staring at your brother like that. Really? <laughs> and um, I remember she asking me that day when you were coming back. How <laughs> old was she then? Like 13? No, she was 12. We were same age, but she was super smart. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. And you know, as the years go by, from time to time, she would always ask me about my brother. <laughs> wow. So, Orena was in love and she didn't tell me. Mm. Wait. Is that what that was? She was in love with you, but she didn't know because she was a kid? Well, I didn't know what that was either, but um, one thing I know for sure is I like her. And coming back, I was hoping I could start up something with her. I had an open mind. I wasn't sure what to expect. I wasn't sure what it was going to be, whether she was available, engaged, in a relationship. <laughs> but here we are. Available for each other. And we are thinking, yeah. But you have to trust me on this. She's your friend. You're looking out for her. But I want something serious. If I wanted to mess around with her, you would have known, I would have told you. But that's not what this is. Trust me. Besides, I would damn to try anything with that beautiful, reserved girl. You should not be better than this. Can you trust me on this? Hmm? Well, Chuma spoke with me all through the night, and it seems Orena is deeply into you as well. So, forgive my outpost, but you understand I'm just trying to protect my friend. Mm. You know that. I get it. Please, Soma. I am begging you, don't break her heart, please. I won't. I promise. I won't forgive you. I hope she doesn't break mine, though. Come on. Orena is a good girl. Yeah. I can vouch for her. It is you I do not trust. That. It's you I don't trust. I don't trust you. I've changed. Uh huh. Yeah, right. Hey, girl. Oh, hi. Ah, ah. Look hmm. at my friend. I see someone is already playing wifey. Well, he wanted to eat a meal cooked by me, so there you go. <laughs> mm. Well, since my brother has stolen my best friend from me, that we no longer spend time together. Let me gently go and see my man so we can go on our usual getaway. Hold on. Don't tell me you guys are going to a hotel again. Of course. You guys are becoming hotel addicts. You know that. Of course. What else is there to do? <laughs> you know good sex is made in hotels. Oh, or don't tell you know that? Me more. You don't want me mourning in your house, do you? I'm a screamer, girl. I scream. <laughs> Hell no, I don't want that. <laughs> okay, it's fine, Ipoba. We are done talking. <laughs> All right, baby girl, I'll see you later, okay? All right. You look good, by the way. Thank you, my darling. See you. Have fun. All right. Cook you that too. dish well. I'm coming to eat. <laughs> Nothing but 
people. Yeah, she asked me to carry it on my head. Are you serious? I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, I wish she's still alive. I would have loved to meet her. I wish she was as well. She was a handful. We are so resting. Perfect peace. Amen. I no longer miss my grandma because I have you now. What is it? So much talk. You're scaring me. What is there to be scared about? Mm -hmm. You are my girlfriend. And I love you. I, I just want to feel you want. I told you. I told you I haven't done it before. I know. I'll be gentle. Mm -hmm. Babe, I just want... Stop, just stop, okay? I can't do this. Please. Are you alright? Are you angry with me? Nah. I understand. In as much as I... I want to do this with you. I don't want to go against your wish, so... Thank you. Can I at least hold you? Yes. How is the relationship going? Mm. Is he the perfect man for you? Much more mother. I love Soma so much. He's just a perfect gentleman. Mm. So, have you guys... <coughs> Pepe will soon enter your throat tomorrow. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> don't move me. <laughs> okay, well, mm, as a man, he has, but I told him I'm a virgin, so he has agreed to move on my own terms. How sweet is that? <laughs> I'm amazed. For someone, if former said he's a player, and you are here talking like this, I think he's a good man. Yes. Yes, it is. I can see you're happy. Yes, Mom, I am. You know, these days I go to bed praying that he asks for my hand in marriage. Oh! So fast. Wouldn't that be awkward if he did? You are just few weeks. Mm, I don't see anything awkward in that. I mean, if he does, that will be the best day of my life. Well, there will be no need waiting if he is the perfect man. <laughs> mm. But are you sure you're ready for marriage? Mom. You got married like when? When you were 18. I'm much more radiant than you were. You ready? <laughs> Ooh, ready. <laughs> But hold on, please, if I'm, it's not funny. Stop it's laughing. Fine. It's, fine. <laughs> it's fine. So tell me, have you guys, you know? You know what? You know? <laughs> 
If Oma, you know if we have, I will tell you. So Madina hasn't asked you yet? Well, not like he has not asked, uh -huh. but I'm not just ready yet. Aww. I'm nervous. You know I haven't done it before. Aww. And I want our first time to be special. Oh, my poor baby. What is that? <laughs> just stop, <laughs> Ifoma, please. Hey, ladies. Hi, bro. Oh. Hi, you, bro. Good, good. You're back. Yeah. I had a really hectic day today. I see you ladies are having some fun. Mm hmm Okay, that's good. I'll be inside. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, look. Look how cute he is, the former. I should be pregnant for him by now. Ew. You're so desperate. Who are you? Have you seen your brother? Uh, He's so cute and perfect. I could eat him up. Of course I am desperate. I don't want to lose him. Oh, just stop. <laughs> oh my God, well why don't you go and eat him up instead of worrying about your first time? My darling, he knows you haven't done it before. I'm sure he'd understand. Don't worry, you'd have fun. Really? I can't wait. Really? I'm literally excited. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? I can't wait. <laughs> Honey? Babe? Babe? Baby? Were you saying something? I wanted you to give me a glass of water. But it looks like you are... You were a bit distracted. I, I wasn't. I... I wasn't. What is it? Hmm. Is there something you want? Touch me? You would lie with a marriage proposal just to get in between my legs. Who says it's about sex? Then tell me it is not. <sighs> of course I want you. All of you, Ure. I want to make love to you. In fact, I desperately want to right now. But this is not about sex. I really do love you. You're a beautiful woman. And more than anything you have. 
you have changed me. And I know that I can keep persuading you. You will give in. You want this. Even as much as I want it. I can feel your heart beat. But on a second thought. I'll let it go. I will reserve this moment for a wedding night. So that you can know that I. I really love you. God, if you're serious, then okay. Yeah, you will marry me. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Thank you, come. come. <laughs> this is so strange. I'm sorry, you. You deserve a better proposal. This is, I didn't plan this, to be honest. Um, maybe we can freshen up and go out and get a ring and make it official. How about that? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sabadina. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good afternoon, Mommy. Good afternoon, my angel. Good. Mommy. I do, man. Welcome. Mom, seems you're going out. Yes, I'm going for a meeting. Okay, um, but since I have everyone here, can you just sit for a minute? I would like to talk to you all. Ah, okay. Um, I, uh, I... Uh, Please, could you just go straight to the point because I'll be heading out soon. Okay, just chill, Chuma. I'm just really nervous. Mom? So Martina has asked me to marry him. What? Uh, I'll take it up from here. Um, Ma. I really like Urina and I have asked her to marry me. She said yes. So I've come to, you know, seek your permission to to make her my wife. I mean, I know this is not exactly the way this should be done, but I'm still gonna come with my family and also. I don't understand. What, what, what is the rush all about? Mom, there is no rush if you find one, right? You always tell me that, Mom. I really love Samadna so much and I want to spend the rest of my life with him. <laughs> I am short of words. Somadina wants to get legally hitched. <laughs> <laughs> I am so proud of you. Shocked, but proud. Thank you. I mean, at least someone has the balls <laughs> to do what some people cannot. Come on, babes. I know you're referring to me. Well, I, I thought we've talked about this, and I promised you it won't exceed next year. So why are you bringing it up here? Sure, ma. This moment is not about two of you. Samadina. Yes, mom. My angel. Mommy. Anytime you are ready, you have my blessings. Yeah. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, mom. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you guys going to hug us? Really? <laughs> right? It's fine. We don't even want your hug. Oh my God. <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We have a wedding to go. Oh, yes, yes, we I do. do. <laughs> 
I should be going. I know. I know. <laughs> we'll talk more about it when I come back. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Take care of yourself. Okay, you too, mommy. Bye. All right, you see you later. <laughs> Now that's my wife. She was my best friend. Excuse you. She's my best friend now. Well, <laughs> I've heard all you've said. Since you said you have spoken to your father and he gave you his consent, who am I? <laughs> you are big enough to know what you want. <sighs> I just hope you are making the right decision. Um, marrying Uri will be the best decision I've made my entire life, Mom. Oh, so sweet. A bit dosia, nice, love a boy. <laughs> it's all written all over you. <laughs> no, it's, it's it's a good thing. I she loves me, I love her too. Oh, mm. that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> And I love you too. Mm, thank you, darling. Thank you. <clears throat> the latest bachelor to be off the market. Mm. So, what's up? Let's talk your wedding. What do you want us to do? Should we invite every single person we know or do you want to keep it low key you should be talking to my wife about that um she would have all the details ah, ah, look at you wife mm, i like the sound of that oh my gosh i'm so happy for my bestie and i'm super proud of the man you are now mm. you've grown up Fair good for you, you. Uh, some random person on social media. She's passed now. She had sickle cell anemia. They couldn't raise money for her blood transfusion. Oh my god. That's sad. Oh, poor girl. That is so sad. Soma, hmm? what's your genotype? Your AS, right? Yeah, I'm AS. Are you serious? Of course I am telling you, Ifoma. Once a guy says, I like you, I'll be like, what's your genotype? I'm AS and I'm not ready to risk my kid's life all because of love. Yeah. Not for anyone. Yes, that's understandable. I know, right? There's a very big problem. What is it? It's about Uri. Did you discuss genotype with her? No, we never had that conversation. Why? Oh. What is it? Uri is AS. What sort of silly joke is that? It's, it's no, 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 what kind of joke is that? Are you trying to make me freak out right now? Listen, if this is a ploy to separate us, it won't work. It's... All right? It's not. Listen, I, I can call her and ask her if you think I'm joking. Let, let me call her. There'll be no need for that. I'll call her myself. Yes. 
Are you 100% sure? Yes, I am sure. Why? Avoiding me, eh? We need to talk. Ure, knocking everyone out and crying yourself to sleep will not solve this. It will not solve this problem, Ure. Ure, please, please, my angel, let me in. Go away, mom. Just go away. I don't want to talk to anybody. Go home. I still don't want to talk. And what do you mean by go home? Do you think ignoring people that care about you is the best way to go about this situation? I mean, what happened with you, Uri? I thought you said you were going to ask anyone you had a relationship with about their genotype first. What happened? Don't blame me, alright? I was caught up in how fast we happened. You were caught up? How can you get caught up on such important matter? How? Why are you that infatuated? Have you met your brother? Every girl in my shoes will be caught up in his awesomeness and forget a whole lot of things. We don't plan how we fall in love or things we say at first. I mean, he was my first love, and all that mattered to me was living in the moment. I totally forgot that genotype was an important part of a relationship to be known. I am so stupid, Ify. Yes, you were stupid. But you're not alone in this. I'm so stupid to not have remembered. I'm so sorry, Uri. I miss him. I miss him so much. I haven't spoken to someone in two days. And it's as if I'm losing a better part of me. God. I miss him. Why? You should call him. He's not taking this easy. I don't know the mood he is in right now.
been trying to talk to you for the past few days now. But it appears your door was locked. I'm surprised it's, it's open now. Mom, can you say whatever it is you've been trying to say for two days now and leave me the hell alone? Will you take a hold on yourself? Look, it's all on us all. We're all feeling the pain too. And there's nothing anyone can do about it. Well, if you're done with dealing with your pain, you let go. The truth is, your genotype and her genotype, it is impossible, it is a risk for the two of you to have a child. Son, do you, do you want to give birth to a sickle cell? I mean, do you want to give birth to a sickler? <sighs> okay. Your AS. She's AS. It is impossible for the two of you to get married. I mean, I don't know what language I could use. I don't need to educate you on this. I mean, if you give birth to children, they will automatically become SS genotypes. Sickle cell anemia. Is that what you want? You know what those children go through while growing up. I don't need to educate you on this. You know it all. You know what? Any plan you have in marrying Urena must be cancelled immediately. Come on, son. You can have any girl you want. Look, you must be a man. You must be strong. to drown in my own tears somehow. holding your hands 
I mean, this is just a challenge life has thrown at us. And I can face it, knowing that you are by my side. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for leaving you in the dark for a week now. But I'm here. I'm here now. But I want to ask you again. Just for any man, but for Somadina, yes. And what is the difference, you dumb child? I know. You all are concerned about our future kids. But all our children can be SS. Luckily, if we have two that are not, then we are done. We talked about it. And I read about it. Sickle cell disease usually comes in from the third child. Rena, whoever wrote the nonsense you read is as shallow-minded as you are. As far as I am educated on it, couple with AS genotype gives birth to children with sickle cell. And nobody determines the kid with the disease, whether it, it's going to come first or whether it's going to come last. Ure, both you and what you read are hopelessly foolish. Now, listen and listen good. Whatever you have with Somadina, I want you to end it here and now. What is wrong with you, Ure? We have been trying to talk some sense into you, but no, you won't understand. All you do is wallow in your foolishness. 
Ure. Now listen. I want you to stop. Because if you don't, I have no other choice than to lock you up in your room. The first time I am in love, and all your people want to do is to ruin it for me. Ifuma, I don't blame you. You have tumor and you both are genotype AA. You don't know how miserable I feel. And there you are preaching to me about moving on. As if I'm not human. As if I don't have a heart that will be broken. And mother, even if you lock me up, it won't change how I feel about him. I am marrying him whether you people like it or not. Good. Then don't expect me in your wedding. And don't expect me to give you my support. Nonsense. Let me down with that. Ray, I'm sorry, but I wouldn't be there either. I'm going away. It's nothing but fallacy. I saw your moment before my leave. I decided to come. Oh, babe. Babe, you're drinking again. Just stop, it's okay. Stop, okay? You can't help but let it go. How hard is Some things I never meant to be. How long do we want to dream? They're all against us. Fighting us. I don't know what else to do. I'm so sorry, babe. It's not easy for me to. You are near, but yet so far from me. We don't like to see each other because everyone is against us. I feel so lonely. I'm lost without you. How, how can you be lonely? When I'm, when I'm right here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't... I don't want you to be lonely. No, I don't, I don't want you to be lonely. I feel sorry. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm here now. I'll be here for you. Always. I'm never leaving you. Not for anything in the world. This good news. When did you find out? Yesterday evening. Well, 
You know what I think? This is literally the only way we can get them to support us. Parents always have this, um, mothers especially, they always have this attachment to their unborn grandchildren, so they wouldn't want to support it. And being their first grandbaby too. Exactly. But I'm worried. You have nothing to be worried about, okay? I'm here for you. I'm here with you. We just have to find a way to tell them and talk to them. I'm sure we'll pull through. I. Thank you. For what? For everything. For loving me. Hey, you are so sweet. You're sweeter. Let's go grab some lunch. Really sorry, Mom. I didn't mean for it to happen this way. I cannot ask her to have an abortion. I know that you are looking out for us and all, and you're worried about our genotype. But we are also worried. And... We hope for the best. And by God's mercies, this child will be safe. We can even stop at having just this child. Samadna is all about the Western life. He doesn't care about... Too many kids. I just want to be with the woman I love. Mom, please. Ify, I beg of you, forgive us. And give us your blessing. Please don't kneel. Okay? Please don't. Urena, I am short of words. Seriously, I am. I just hope and pray that you don't regret this decision someday. I wish you guys whatever thing you guys wish yourselves. Okay? I support you. Thank you, Choma. I am really disappointed. But... You both are kids. And I don't blame you much. You are in love. And I know how it feels. <sighs> the heart wants what the heart wants. Rena, for your sake, I hope this child comes out healthy. Because I won't forgive you if an innocent child is left to suffer over your mistake. I won't forgive you. I support you. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. So, when are we starting the wedding plan? As soon as possible, Mom. Thank you. I'm serious. No, I had to tell him. I told him I'm staying celibate until he marries me. And then he started sending me messages about how I am pushing him away and this and that and ugh. <laughs> Poor Chuma. You know, the way men box for sex, I wonder if he can ever cope. Then he should do the needful. It's that simple. I mean, seriously, I love him so much and I want to be married too. I mean, look at you. You know, right? <laughs> Don't worry, he's going to. Oh. Welcome, bro. Hey, baby. How are you? I'm fine. Mm. How's my baby doing? He's okay. Mm. Mm. He's kicking nicely. Yep. <laughs> oh, how's Mumsy? Call her and ask her. Really? <laughs> You're yes. a rude girl. <laughs> Um, 
and tired and famished. I just um, freshen up and you know, have something to eat. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay. All right. Aww. <laughs> Ooh, Look at you! What? Some things never change. We all still look at each other like you just met. When I told you that we were crazy in love with each other, I wasn't joking. And the sex still the same? Even better. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so happy for you! Thank you so much. Who would have thought? I mean, I thought... You and Chuma would have been married by Just now. Just that. Wonderful fantasy. It's nothing but fallacy. Back here in reality, it's not there. I guess it's time to realize that love is not enough. Sometimes. You can't help but let it go. How far do we wanna go before we can understand that some things I never meant to be? How long do we wanna dream? Let's wake to reality. I hope we can understand some. Home. Big baby Jake. Oh, hey baby. Hey baby. Hey, hey. Mm. You're back. Yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. How are you? How's your day? Fine, thank you. How was yours? Yeah, hectic as usual. See, How are you mommy? doing, Boo Boo? Fine. Are you Good. okay? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Yeah. You both should go freshen up while I set the dining, okay? So, how is he faring now? Um, he's getting better. He's um, asleep now. Trying to get some rest. It's all good. You know, whatever drug he's on should be given religiously. Okay? Don't worry, nothing will happen to him. Okay? And my wife and I will be praying for you guys. But you just have to be strong for your wife. We will. Thanks to you both for stopping by. We really do appreciate it. It's all good, bro. We're all our family, man. I don't know what to do, Mom. This is so difficult for me. My baby, he's just a baby and he's going through this pain. 
his crisis is becoming more often and I don't know what to do. I am so scared. I am so scared. I don't know what to say, Ure. I don't know whether to blame you at this moment or not. From the very first time I learned Jake has sickle cell anemia, my heart was so broken. I was scared. We all are. As long as money can take care of this, we will do everything possible to make sure that my grandchild stays alive. We will try as much as possible to make sure that this sickness do not take away my grandchild from us. Oh my God, mommy. Oh my God. Do you want to take mommy's selfie? I hold it, do it by yourself. Go ahead. Oh, okay, so. Let me do the clicking. Ah. Oh. Hi. Welcome. I've served you food at the dining. Hey. I'm sorry for how I acted up this morning. I don't know what um, came over me. I guess it was just the stress from Jake's health. I'm sorry. Forgive me. You know, this is not easy for me to. I know. I am hurting. He's my baby. I carried him inside of me. I need you to be strong for me, not turn against me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, what are you going to do first? Have a shower or? Or eat your food. Yes, and which best that food are you talking about? The one on the dining room? <laughs> this one? The one on the dining <laughs> situation even calls for blame right now. Oh, I know exactly who to blame. I blame both of them. They got married knowing their genotype doesn't match. For goodness sake, my nephew is in so much pain and I feel like strangling both of them. Yeah, I understand. Okay, but well, he's my nephew too. Babes, I know you're upset. Of course I am upset. Baby, I am very upset. And believe me when I say this, Orena got pregnant just so we can allow them marry. Now look at this. Look at what we're all going through, for goodness sake. Seriously. And Jake is such an innocent, sweet soul. That boy would have dreams growing up only for his health to stand in the way. That is not fair. I know. I understand. Okay, but the only thing there is we just have to keep praying for them. Okay, at least I've heard about cases of people with the disease who get to live up to 100 years old. With God's mercies upon his life, I believe he might end up going to be whoever he wants to be in the society. I pray. I really, really pray. Oh, I give you a oh, 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 yeah, 
Jay, hey, baby, it's time for you to take your drugs. Come. Okay. Look at you, you're sweating. You've taught your son to be rascally. Look at what you've done to this place. Haven't you heard? Like father, like son. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's go take your drugs. Mm. But now that I think a bit dumb, isn't it time for us to make a mini you? Mini me? Yes. <laughs> I actually miss you pregnant. Uh, you know what? What? I think you should go to the hospital and take out the IUD. Mm. Really? Mm. Okay. I'll visit the hospital next week then. It's time to make some babies. <laughs> but while you're at it, down, I want to show you the stuff I'm made of. Mm. <laughs> Jay. Don't you ever get tired? What is wrong with you? Oh my god. <laughs> Temperature. We need to take him to the hospital, please. Ah, uh, it's 2 a.m. 2 a.m. We need to take him to the hospital. Did you give him a straw? I did, I did, I did. Let's go, Samantha. Let's go. Where's the key? Show me at the table. Let's go. Samadina, so, why don't you take your wife home? Um, take her home so both of you can freshen up. We'll be here with Jake. I've been telling her that for a while now, but she... She has refused to go home. He's right. You both are still in your night ways and you look a mess. Go home and freshen up. Babe. I want to stay here with him. I, um, you know what, I'll just, um, I'll just go and freshen up and return in the evening or something. I'll get you a change of clothes. Does that work? Yeah, it's fine. Bye. Well, Jake will be fine. Two of you, it needs to be strong for him. Doctor. My baby is suffering, and it's all my fault. See, um, it is not a time for blames, really, but I really wish young people out there would understand, begin to understand the importance of a genotype test before marriage. We should not put the future of our kids at risk for whatever reason. Anyway, that said, we're going to do everything in our power to keep Jake alive and leave the rest to God. His medication he must take religiously with a healthy diet. Am I clear on this? Yes, sir. Yes, I also spoke with Dr. Pius and he said he's not yet been able to find a compatible donor for Jake. Doctor, how long is this um, entire process going to take? Because I, I just really want my son back home safe. Like I told you the last time we spoke on the phone, getting a compatible donor for a bone marrow transplant is not as easy as picking up drugs from off the shelf. These things take a process. But something good is on the way. Sometimes you can't help but live. How far do we want to go before we can understand that some things are never meant to be? How long do we want to dream? Let's change reality. I hope we can change. understand somehow. 
Jake. Jake, doctor! Doctor! I don't, I don't, I don't know. He's not breathing. Doctor! Doctor! What do you mean he's not breathing? I don't know. He's not breathing. Do not panic. No, what do you mean he's not breathing? Doctor! Doctor! What's going on? Did you talk to me? What's what's going on? late. I called your office and no one answered. I was worried about you. I said I was working late. So Martina. Back here in reality, it's not 
mine. He doesn't even look at me. I just lost my child two months ago. And now I'm losing my husband. He doesn't even eat my food anymore. And he likes food. I don't know who that person in my home is. But that is not so bad to die. So broken, Bob. It's okay. He is hurting. That is what you should understand. I know you are hurting too. Maybe he doesn't know what to do or how to handle it. Maybe he blames himself. But my dear, if he cannot be strong, then you be strong for him. Try and own him back. You are the woman. Let your husband have comfort in your arms so that he doesn't sleep away. Oh. Open yourself to him. I was with you when we lost Jake. You weren't yourself at all. Drawn by stare, probably that is what affected him. My dear, let me ask you. Have you people had any nice moment since then? <laughs> Intimate moments. We don't even have time for each other again. Sex is the last thing on our minds, Mom. But isn't he meant to be the man? He's meant to be strong and comfort me more. <laughs> Are you sure it is the last thing in his mind? I think you guys should have a moment together. It will bring both of you together again. He's a man. Yes. But he is equally human. And some men don't know how to take emotions back. Oh, my beautiful daughter. I know you are heartbroken. It is not easy losing a child. My grandchild. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. But don't let this take the better part of you. I want you to hand everything over to God. I want you to seek comfort in God. He's the only person that will comfort you. It's okay, my daughter. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. I'll make mommy cry. Something 
Let's wake to reality. I hope we can understand somehow. I guess it's time to realize that love is not enough. Sometimes you can't help but let. Why are you taking this out on her? Huh? Can't you just accept it's both your faults? Why are you ignoring her? Seriously, Somadina, what is wrong with you? Who says I'm ignoring her? Oh, okay. So what does it mean when you refuse to perform your duties to her? Even sexual duties? So she now calls you on the phone to tell you if I make love to her or not? Really? How is that your business? Oh, it is my business. It is my business because she is my best friend even before she became your wife. And need I remind you that her brother is my husband? So in every inch, it is my business when my blood brother has decided to treat and make my sister-in-law a lonely island in her own home. I mean, seriously, what is wrong with you? This is not the love you promised her. the list thing on my mind right now. Excuse me? You heard me. The memories playing in my head ooh, 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 ooh. The wonderful fantasy It's nothing but fallacy Back here in reality It's not there I guess it's time to realize that love is not enough Sometimes, Sometimes you can't help but let it go How far do we want to go Before we can understand That some things are never meant to be How long do we want to dream Let's wake to reality. I hope we can understand somehow. I guess it's time to realize the love is not enough. Sometimes you can't help but let it go. From the one you love so dear How do you say goodbye To yesterday, yesterday, yesterday How do you walk away From the one who makes you smile How do you say goodbye To everything How do you walk away from the one you love 
I'm sorry. I've been here making a fool of myself, driving myself crazy, doing everything to save what we have. But here I am, and for months you treated me like I don't exist. That's not true. It's not true. I see the way you look at me with so much disgust. And I know. Because you used to look at me in a different way when you loved me. I'm sorry we lost Jake. Let's stop pretending that everything is fine. But you know in all things, I really wish he was here with us. Sorry, I think we can sit there and talk this through. How do you look at the man you love and tell yourself it's time to walk? Sometimes you can't help but let it go. How far do we want to go before we can understand that some things are there? Let's wake to reality. I hope we can understand somehow. I guess it's time to realize that love is not enough. Sometimes. 
So how are you holding up? I miss him. So much. Baby, you're going to be okay. You will get through this. I promise you will get through it. Listen, Urena. Your time has a special way of healing things. Okay? Just take it a day at a time. You don't have to rush the process. And I bet you one day you just wake up and you discover that the whole pains you feel in your heart are all gone. I'm so broken, Juma. Yeah, I understand. I just want to die. No, 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 baby, don't say that. Please don't say that. You're not going to die. No, you won't die. You will get through this, I promise, please. Please. <laughs> in the neighborhood so I I decided to come and drop this Some things I did 
worth sacrificing for.
this way.